Shalom guys, how are you doing? Well, life uh, life is exhausting. It is not something that really anyone can uh, can be prepared to. It's kind of uh, scary. Yesterday we lost a very dear friend of ours, Angel Gonzalez, a very holy and precious soul. Someone that, uh, except of loving him, like you can't do anything else with him. Like uh, you can just fall in love in, with him and that's it. Like an amazing, amazing, amazing soul and, and, uh, and we lost him. We lost this amazing soul, amazing person, amazing friend. And there are no words to describe this, uh, this feeling that lost. This is something very, very painful for all of us, for our project, for everyone who knew him. When we came first time to Miami so he came with one of his friends that was the first time we met maybe four years ago maybe even five to one of my classes in Miami he came from Jacksonville they drove for six hours for the class and uh, since then we were in touch and in one of the last tours that we made to in California so he organized a place for us to speak um, in San Diego and made sure that we will be hosted in the best hotels and did everything he could and um, and his body has been defeated by the kingship of darkness by the evil itself but I am 100% sure that until the last moment of his life on earth so he was holding his innocent and pure mindset and he never backed off from being good I, I don't have the slightest doubt about it this is a person that was willing to do everything it takes for for any other person, for homeless and for poor and like he would jump out of his skin to help another person. That's a soul that I admire and uh, and will never forget. So May he rest in peace and pray for all of us and gonna make a big, big mess over there in heaven. Like the real righteous ones, they know how to throw some tables over there. So we're asking you, angel, be our protecting angel over there in kingship of heaven and make a big, big noise over there that we will not know no more sorrow and no more pain in this world many of us are experiencing tremendous tremendous losses and huge challenges with no end in our days in our lives and so many questions are coming to our minds and people falling from their faith and from the stability of their happiness and uh, and losing their minds in that struggle and I don't have this um, default this option in my program um, to give up and to back off I don't know why it just does not exist inside of me. Maybe this is why Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said that 
there is no despair in the world at all. So maybe when you are connected to the world, so then you don't have despair. It's not part of your of your tools to give up. It's like yesterday I cried and I, I told my wife I would also want to give up. Like really? Like sometimes you you just wanna give up. <laughs> but I can't. Like I like I don't know how to do it. Like there's no way to give up. It's just The last post that Angel posted on Instagram, if I'm not wrong, was that he was talking to all single parents that find themselves separated from their children. And he put all his effort, like, like much more than he had to be close to his two little girls. He crossed the country and like he did everything that was in his power to be close to his children after the separation from his uh, wife and he wrote over there that like to all the single parents just like don't give up on being close and close to your children don't ever back off from that just always stay close to them and do as much as you can and when it's your children or when it's your wife or like your soul soulmate your partner whatever or when it's the truth or when it's Hashem when 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 whatever when when it's your friends how can you back off how can you give up you cannot you just cannot no matter how much you go through in life like people went through one year and a half in camps in auschwitz like with food that you can cannot survive one day eating and like not in the amount and especially not in the quality like you cannot call it food but people survived one year and a half over there like like angels like holy made of fire angels that does not know despair and if you would fall to despair you would die you would just drop off dead but if you don't so then you don't die and you just keep on and passing the torch from one generation to the next and from one soul to the rest and that's our mission that's our goal and to that light we're going to continue walking even barefoot even starving even naked even homeless even with nothing to our skin we're just going to continue marching to zion and bringing the complete redemption and won't give up and won't back off till the darkness disappear and death will be no more and there will be no more pain no more sorrow we need to change the rules of nature exactly like the prophets promised us that there will be no more plagues no more sorrow no more darkness the night will shine as the day and there will be no more death and if you don't believe in that so you should uh, listen to more of my classes and hopefully you're gonna wake up to understand that that's the meaning of having faith in the Creator to remember that he's the one that can renew the world and recreate it as he want and to change all the systems of nature and all the methods that are familiar to us like death and aging and all that pain and just to bring us to another level to rise and to shine on, on, on different wheel on different scales, on different levels that we won't die anymore that death will not be part of our life experience right? you got it finally I'm happy so may this Shabbat 
comfort us and take away the pain and that horrible feeling of loss that we have and disappointment from the darkness that is surrounding us all around and may the light of our souls shine so brightly that it will overpower all dark forces of evil and we will be crowned as the winners because we are the champions my friends the Muna project we're the champions and we're gonna win and we're gonna succeed and we all gonna live eternal life just hold on strong and stable and don't back off and don't give up and we're gonna make it Shabbat Shalom